My name's Craig Albright. Uh, I'm here at Hudson River Gallery where I have a show of my paintings. It's uh, Iowa Landscapes, Recent Works, and uh, hopefully you can come out and check it out. Um, the show is really, uh, it's, it's kind of captures a, a process of transition in my work a little bit. Um, I started working uh, a little bit larger and I've been working uh, both from photo sources and working from imagination and I'm trying to push some of the abstract qualities um, and the formal aspects of paint and merging those with uh, um, the, the, my love of the Iowa landscape and the pictorial um, and pastoral qualities of, of the Iowa landscape that I grew up in. In the past year or two I've come across the what they call ACM, it's aluminum comp composite material. Uh, it's it's two sheets of aluminum sandwiched in between a, a polyethylene core. And it's become popular as a painting substrate um, because it's more archival, it's rigid as opposed to canvas, and um, you know it, it, it doesn't fluctuate as much, so it, it's a, a much better surface for paint so that it prevent cracking um, down the line. It's also fairly lightweight, so it's lighter weight than wood panels that people typically use. Anyway, in using those, I've, I've kind of discovered that, that I can start working a little bit larger and, and keep works still being fairly lightweight. Um, I've, I've been wanting to do much larger paintings. It's been really fun to, to work on a larger scale. Uh, I find that the, the qualities of handling the paint and, and pushing paint around um, become more tangible, more, more, you know, it's a more physical process, which I really enjoy. Um, sometimes working on the, the little paintings feels a little bit constraining at times. Uh, I, I'm kind of a big guy. I like to get physical and I use squeegees and all kinds of and rollers and stuff, all kinds of things to, to really, um, attack the surface. And it's not just all, you know, uh, brushes and, I'm definitely not a little fine detail brush painter, so uh, it's been really enjoyable to, to work on a larger scale, and, and I, I hope to do some even bigger ones in the coming future. So in the past, I used to work exclusively from imagination, um, whether the images were fully abstract or if they were representational, but it was making marks on paper and having it, or on canvas and having it evolve and become an image. Uh, and then a few years ago, I started relying more on photographic sources, uh, driving around the countryside, taking pictures of scenes that I liked, um, that sort of thing. And I, I found that refreshing because I could rely on, on you know, the capturing that image, and I didn't have to struggle so much with, you know, the, the content. I could just kind of work the composition a little bit and and. Um, it, it simplified things in a way, but I found that also could be problematic because I don't want to be slave to a photograph. Um, I, I want to, you know, push the formal elements of paint and really, you know, uh, battle with that uh, a little bit more. And I've never been one to, you know, start with a finished product in mind. I, I like the paintings to kind of, you know, discover where they're going to be. So uh, I've been still utilizing some photo references, um, but also trying to only use them as a starting point and then really push past that and let the, the, the paint and the process really dictate where it's going to go. Um, I, I still have a fondness for the kind of the, the you know, the historical landscapes of like, you know, the Barbizon School or Hudson River uh, School. And I, I, I've loved the American landscape painters from the 19th century. And so I have that kind of romanticism still in me, but I also want to deal with more modern elements and concerns like, uh, you know, uh, in the sense of how Richard Diebenkorn can really, you know, flip back and forth between representation and pure abstraction and yet those paintings are they, they relate to each other very well and so I'm I'm trying to play with that a little bit more 
And while I'm still making representational imagery, um, I'm trying to push it a little bit more towards the abstract. And uh, my ultimate goal is for the subject to be more about the paint itself as opposed to the landscape that I'm depicting. So that's, that's my real goal with these ultimately. So I, I've definitely I've revisited some themes that I used to work on 30 years ago. I, I, 30 years ago I was doing a series of train yards and industrial landscapes. And I have a few paintings in the show that uh, kind of harken back to that. Um, it, uh, there's a couple of train paintings that, that are really uh, recalling kind of what I used to do. And I was, I, I was out of curiosity. It's like, what would happen if I tried doing one of these again? And I, I found it pretty intriguing. Um, I, there's uh, some invented um, industrial landscape scenery there's a there's a painting of of the iowa city power plant which is one of my favorite buildings in iowa city um i just am enamored every time i drive by that thing um so i definitely uh have tried to incorporate a little bit more of the industrial elements um not so much you know with an intentional statement in mind behind it i just it's more the the geometry and the compositional factors uh, that are a nice change of pace from rolling hills and, and you know tree tree groves and, and you know gravel roads and that sort of thing so I think it's about my visual uh, interest in, in getting uh, breaking up the the scenery a little bit um, but it, it it comes from a place that I, I knew intimately before and worked almost exclusively with in the past in some ways you know revisiting old topics but it's it's with my current eyes and my my current view and my my use of color is totally different than it was 30 years ago and and my understanding of it and and um i think my my work has always been pretty atmospheric uh and light has been a central theme throughout and again that goes regardless of whether I'm painting from life or from a photo reference or from just inventing it, it's, it's always been about the light. Um, so that, that remains a constant throughout.